Empire Suck has already made as much money as Scott Pilgrim. Think about that for a second. That's really sad. You know what's not sad? Hamsters wearing hats. <laughs> Friday, the internet movie show that thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed Piranha 3D. As a gore hound and someone who can appreciate a movie that knows exactly what it is, it was completely satisfying. If you find the idea of a piranha vomiting up a half-eaten penis satisfying. No? It's just, it's just me? How about a five-minute nude underwater ballet sequence featuring two extremely well-endowed women making out and holding their breath for a really impressive amount of time? As my friend St. John put it, Piranha 3D is... What's the word beyond gratuitous? It's that. Also, an interesting note. The Richard Dreyfus as not Matt Hooper character. Something really strange is happening. Before the movie came out, he was credited on IMDb as Matt Boyd. Not Matt Hooper, his character from Jaws. Now go to IMDb, and there it is. Matt Hooper. I don't know, when I saw the movie, he was still credited as Matt Boyd. Has anyone seen it since then? Has it changed to Matt Hooper? Does anybody care? Is this, like, way too super nerdy for you? All right, enough geeking out. Let's talk about what's coming out today. And the wait is finally over. That's right, it's Avatar. Avatar! Ow! Wait a second. I feel like I've already done this before. Avatar. Ah! Yep, Avatar's back with a whopping nine extra minutes of footage. Woo! I guess it's for those people who wish they could live on Pandora. You can go see it again in the theater. Or, for normal people, you can just wait for the special edition to come out on DVD, which has 16 minutes of extra footage. What? Alright, next up is The Last Exorcism. Here's a little movie with, I think, a lot of potential. There's two things going against it. One is, it's got the word exorcism in the title. And two, it's shot in the style of Paranormal Activity and Blair Witch. People are always going to compare it to The Exorcist and say that they got a little queasy when they saw it in the theater. But, I think the premise is pretty strong for this. It's about a fake exorcist who decides he wants to come clean, so he goes on his last exorcism, he films it, and he just wants to show that it's all phony. But of course, this last one, shit goes wrong. I think the trailers are kind of misleading, they just kind of show it as like a cheap knockoff of The Exorcist with a touch of Parkinson's. But I think it's going to surprise you. Finally, we have Takers, a movie starring a guy who abuses women and cries a bunch. You know, Anakin Skywalker. All right, let's recap. The summer movie season is ending with a movie that came out last year. That ought to tell you something. One last great thing about Piranha. It spawned this awesome radio interview with Ving Rhames. I'm normally a very strong man, but I'm actually very scared right now. Piranha's all over the place. MTV has put me on this small boat in the middle of the Hudson River, sur surrounded by piranhas. It's, it's, it's not fair. What's uh, what's next for you in the career after this? 